Hello everyone. Many of you may or may not heard about the incident at Miami Mall. It's a very heated topic, even in the spiritual community or the Stasi community. Now this video is requested, and I normally don't really upload videos like this, but it sounds like a good idea and a good place to start. So hey, why not? And here it is. I access to the energies in Miami Mall. And even astral travel there with my team, and I asked the ETs that was involved in the incident, and this is the information I received. First, what happened? Apparently, the fields that separate the human realm and the lower realm was cracked in that location, leading to an outburst of energies coming out from there. This is more of a shadowy energy. As it came from Hollow Earth, so I'm getting the word Hollow Earth. This is very interesting. I'm also getting that these intense lower energies that came out could have manifest itself into these dark creatures, these large, tall beings that a lot of people have have been talking about. But that's secondary. So it's understandable why there are sightings all around the world, but there is no clear, vivid image. And majority usually deem them as fake. That's because these beings do not reside in our realm. They are on Earth, however, but they live on a whole different dimension, usually neighbor dimensions. Creatures like the Bigfoot or Nessie, they are all real, just residing on another realm on this planet. This universe is a program, a hologram, just like I mentioned in my other videos. And just like any video games, there can be errors or bugs in this matrix that sometimes beings from other realms are magically visible to us when it's not supposed to be. But it's not uncommon. Now that there is a shift going on, it will get more common and intense for the upcoming years. So the description of what happened is that there is a huge warfare in Hollow Earth. Which is under Earth at that period of time? What kind of warfare it is? I won't go in depth as it's not really directly related to us. This is something those beings are dealing with it. But that warfare caused an outburst of concentrated energies, which broke through the barriers in that location, the Miami Mall. And these energies are denser and lower, so it was. Affecting people on the surface within the mall, especially the juveniles that were fighting, but the juveniles were greatly affected by these energies. That their mental emotional state was chaotically amplified, which caused them to go into rampage. They were not possessed, however. It's just that these energies are like our triggers or conductors. In fact, many crimes or suicides. Are heavily influenced by energies outside, and that's why it's essential to train your inner sovereignty and not allow what's outside affect your inner state of being. So the creatures that were seen by some of the people were beings from Hollow Earth. They are eight to ten foot tall, dark or shadowy looking creatures. Let me clarify: they are not ETs, as they reside on planet Earth. This doesn't apply to all, but generally, beings from Hollow Earth have a lower vibration compared to the human realm, and the creatures specifically vibrate in a negative vibration, according to what the higher ETs have told me. So more people reported seeing UFO during this incident, and yes, there were higher ETs involving with this case. That has to do with the benevolent team from the Galactic Council. They came in immediately, mostly invisible, to repair the barriers that separates the layers between realms or dimensions. It had to be done quickly; otherwise, the energies could have spread even further, and more creatures could have entered. So they repaired the field, stabilized the energy fields, and did a throughout cleanse. Finally, here are the channeled message from these ETs. We are in an intense shifting phase, where not just Earth is shifting, but also Hollow Earth and all the realms and dimensions on Earth is shifting. At this moment, 
The barriers and fields can become unstable between layers, realms, and dimensions. And that's why you will see random sudden sightings, more frequent than ever, where beings appear and disappear. This is something that will continue to happen as long as we are here, as the program is not perfect. In the near future, where Earth fully shifts to 5D, beings that willingly choose to be here will come together and live as a community indiscriminately. So this can be souls from the human Earth, hollow Earth, sky beings, or fairy tale beings. This is something that is projected to happen in a few decades. I'm getting within 20 years. This is where we will start seeing more ETs and different beings visible from our naked eye. So before that, humanity needs to learn to get along with its own race. If you cannot get along with your own race, how can you get along with beings even more different than you? Start loving your neighbors and start spreading kindness within and around. And that is their message. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching my video and much love to you all and peace.